All right, Chip, thank you. We are also learning more about one of the alleged incidents which ultimately contributed to the recall of former Sheboygan Mayor Bob Ryan. Before he passed out drunk at a bar, a new criminal complaint says he groped a woman. The details are adult in nature. Our Justin Williams explains what Ryan is accused of doing. If the district attorney uh, feels that it's necessary to bring forth charges on this, I'm ready to address those because there is absolutely nothing that happened. If his statement months ago still rings true, Bob Ryan should be ready. Court documents released Monday morning indicate the former Sheboygan mayor faces two fourth degree sexual assault charges in connection with an alleged incident at Elkhart Lake's Siebkins Resort back in July of 2011. According to the documents, an unidentified woman says she was inside this resort bar when she suddenly felt two hands from behind her touch her stomach and move up her chest where they squeezed both her breasts over her clothing. The report says she told the man behind her to keep his hands off her, but a few minutes later, the same man again squeezed her breasts while behind her. When investigators asked Ryan, an admitted alcoholic, about the incident, they say he told them he'd had a drink earlier that day, explaining after that initial drink, the switch got turned on and he was rolling. Police also say Ryan did recall being confronted by a young woman at the bar, but when asked about the alleged grabbing, Ryan adamantly denied doing so. Monday, one of the Siebkins co-owners denies Fox 6's request for an interview, but does tell me the resort is ready to move on. Folks who live in the area say so too is the community. And it's not the Elkhart Lakes reputation that's being tarnished here, it's Bob's. And if that's how he acts in public, he's gonna have to live with that. Now, I called Bob Ryan's home today, but have yet to receive a return call. If Ryan is found guilty of both fourth-degree sexual assault charges, he could be imprisoned for up to 18 months and be forced to pay up to $20,000 in fines. Back to you guys at the desk. All right, Justin, thank you. Well, we're